Welcome back to Why in the Morning. And this is the Tuesday Entrepreneurship Show. But today we have a little bit of a change and we hope that you guys enjoy what we've brought to you. We had brought it in the introduction that we had uh, did earlier on today and we talked about Honorable coming to our set today. And specifically we have Honorable Jeff, Honorable Jeff Kingangi, pardon me, Member of Parliament and he's actually the MP from Barry South constituency and he's here to discuss a few things about the youth and this is why we have decided to put it under entrepreneurship because he's here to actually advance and help the youth um, uh, push an agenda forward to assist them in making their lives a little bit better and he's not alone on set my name is Joy Mochache and I'd, I'd like for you to meet the rest of the people who are here with me today Karibu Nisana thank you okay thank you. Well, I would like to start from that end Good morning. My name is Yvonne. Um, I am communications officer, Barry South constituency. I'm Edwin Bogo, mm -hmm. Barry South constituency. Mm -hmm. uh, Ajira, Ajira trainer. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm Rachel Lovera. Yes. Barry South constituency and Ajira trainer. I see. Uh, thank you. My name is uh, Kingani. <laughs> the MP for Barry South. Okay. okay. So you'd like for me to just refer it to you as uh, Honorable King Angi today? That's right. Thank uh, you. No problem. And so we have got a wonderful, wonderful discussion lined up for you guys today. And in case you want to chip in, first of all, I'd like to let you know that you can do so through our social media handles, which are right at the bottom of the screen. Ask any questions that you'd like, and maybe we'll get some time to discuss and give you back some feedback. So let's jump right in. Um, just as an introduction. Barre South constituency is actually in Embu County, and it's actually one of the uh, it's one of the largest that's getting marginalized, and it's actually still on its feet. It's still growing as we speak. There are a lot of things and a lot of developments that may not be reaching that area, and. Aside from the developments, today we're here to talk about youth agendas because that's what Mushimia is here to push forward. Isn't that right, sir? That's right. Okay. And thank you very much for uh, inviting us to the studio. Okay. We are very delighted, actually, the young people yes. traveled last night to oh. be here this morning. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, okay. we, we are very excited about this opportunity to be here mm -hmm. and to talk about our constituency. Mm. and the kind of things that we're doing in the constituency. Mm. Uh, in, in particular, the youth agenda mm -hmm. uh, in the in Barry South constituency. Okay. Yes. The youth agenda in Barry South constituency. And um, maybe we'll just start off by talking about some of the things that are mostly known about the Embo County, to be specific, than Barry South constituency. Um, okay, thank you. Embo County is uh, one of the counties around Mount Kenya and uh, specifically Mount, Mount Kenya East. Um, Bere South is one of the four constituencies of, of Embu County, and it happens to be the largest of the uh, constituencies in, in Embu County. Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, mm. almost half the land mass of Embu County constituency is uh, located in uh, Bere South constituency. Mm -hmm. It is bounded by River Tana mm -hmm. and, and therefore we have uh, more than a hundred kilometers of river which is boundless, uh, which is a boundary between us and Machakos wow. and us and Kitui mm -hmm. uh, County. Wow. Um, uh, and because of that, mm -hmm. we are on the drier side of uh, Ebu County mm -hmm. and uh, therefore we have challenges of water, mm -hmm. we have challenges of uh, rainfall, mm -hmm. but uh, we are lucky. We have a very vibrant community mm -hmm. and a very vibrant uh, youth that are coming up. Mm -hmm. Very ambitious, very hardworking. Yes. And this is what we want to tap into mm -hmm. by uh, having a specific agenda that addresses the challenges that are being faced by uh, the youth in okay. their constituency. I see. Yes. And uh, maybe we can talk about some of those challenges because now that we've gotten an introduction and an understanding of what Embo County is all about and specifically what Mbera South constituency is all about, let's talk about some of the challenges that the youth are undergoing and then we can talk about some of the measures you would wish to put in place in order to change and turn around those challenges. Uh, thank you. Mbera yes, South, uh, as I said earlier, is a dry constituency. It's a semi-arid. 
mm. in uh, basically semi arid. Mm. And because of that, most of the constituents uh, live on uh, arable farming, mm -hmm. peasant farming, mm -hmm. uh, keeping a few livestock, and uh, basically mm -hmm. doing food, uh, I mean, farming for food, okay. not so commercial. Uh, and, and, and because of that, most of families are challenged in, in terms of income, uh, having money to push their family through school. Mm -hmm. Most of the uh, young people go through school with a lot of difficulties. Mm -hmm. they are, mm -hmm. the, the parents are struggling to get money to pay school fees, but they still do manage to pay through, uh, through school. And because of that, once you go through school, and then you don't have employment, it's a big challenge right. to the young people, to the family, to even the community. And I give my example of myself. Okay. Uh, I was bred and brought up in Berry South. Uh -huh. um, going through school, I had to get jobs during the holidays to be able to pay school fees for the next term. Mm -hmm. And once I finish, actually my siblings, about six of them, mostly dependent on what I earned to get through school. Of course, they worked, but uh, wow. they, they worked themselves. But uh, they primarily they depend on what I earned yes. to be able to go through school. So you can imagine if, uh, if, a, if a family has put a child through school, and then at the end of the game, the, the, that child does not have employment, mm. it's a big blow because it's a, it's a whole family's investment. It means the siblings that are, are, are following that young person are also suffering and they're looking at him and say what are you doing here why don't you get a job why don't you help us so it's a big challenge so mm -hmm. that's one of the challenges mm -hmm. employment unemployment mm -hmm. for instance right i see and um before we talk about uh, the rest of the challenges we have actually um some people from Nigeria right here sitting with us and i hear that you are the ceo Okay, Karibu Sana. And um, before we come to talk to you about the Ajira, um, the Ajira Digital, as it's called, because it's actually a, sol a part of the solution for these challenges, we want to finish talking about some of those challenges first, and then we'll come to a solution, which Ajira is a part of that solution. Isn't that right? Okay, so, so uh, let's go to the next challenge, sir. So, so the, the, the other challenge is that um, uh, my area, there is uh, the business of Mugoka, which is Mira. Uh, which is a good thing because the community earns money through the sale of Mugoka. Mm -hmm. But it's a challenge to the youth. Uh, because it's easy money, then the youth are attracted to get into the industry, mm -hmm. which is not right in any community for youth to be engaged in, in, in business. We want the youth to remain in school, uh, grow, be competitive right. like other Kenyans. Right get an education, if in the future they choose to go back to Mira business, that is a, a decision being made by a mature person. But for the youth, for the young people, it is always a, a risk. Because once they go there, then they're exposed to drugs, they're exposed to other behaviors, they, they mix with adults, uh, and uh, they don't have a space where they can grow or with the mentors, with people who are uh, um, encouraging them to look beyond uh, Beresa, to look at the rest of Kenya, to integrate and to plug in into the economy mm. in a more broader way mm. rather than just uh, buying and selling of, of Mira. So Mira to the youth is a challenge in terms of um, people dropping out of school, right. children dropping out of school. That dropping out of school. And Every even school. sometimes when they do finish school, it's um, something uh, yes. that they jump onto because there's not much else to do, is there? Yes, yes. When they finish school, then they don't have engagement, they don't have, uh, they don't have uh, a job, then, uh, then it's difficult for them to sit around there doing nothing when the rest of the family, they are doing uh, mirror business, so they join in. Again, getting exposed. Yes. Uh, so that, that is a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally, mm -hmm. that um, uh, the youth need to be exposed to what the rest of the world is doing. Right. And 
Secondly, they need to be exposed to people who have been in similar situations and succeeded. So that they're able to show them, hey, look, you can aim higher. Look at me. I was where you are. Now I am here. Mm -hmm. You can chase me. Mm -hmm. And when they get there, and the, the younger ones, when they get there, the others also emulate them. So we need role models. Mm. And we need a, a space where very people can model each other and encourage each other to come out of uh, uh, the situation. Yeah. I see. I understand. Um, and also, some of the things we're going to be talking about are also the lack of investment for things like technical skills, education, Absolutely. and normal life skills, and also business skills. Absolutely. Things that they can grab onto and hold onto in order to create a better life for themselves after they're through with school. Yes. Completely. And uh, wow, so some of the things that you want to introduce um, are these technical skills and maybe we can hear about them because now that we're done talking about the uh, challenges, we'd like to talk about some of the solutions. Uh, I, I want to talk about the youth agenda. First uh, now. In, in general. Okay. And then I'll let uh, Yvonne introduce uh, the innovation hub that we've created mm. and the Ajira program. Okay. Uh, broadly speaking, we have looked at the youth and we want to engage all youth very constructively uh, so that those who are school leavers they have something to do those who are waiting to get a job they have something to do those who the youth who are already working in businesses like uh, border border others are also trying other businesses we want to engage them so the first program is about football we are engaging them through football beginning from grassroots and building up yes. a league to a, to a, to a final, yes. to, to the finals. Yes. And right now they're very, very busy mm. competing. And it's become very competitive, very, right. and the discussions are coming out of there. Right. And when that we're talking about solutions, this is what we're talking about. These are the solutions we're talking about. Exactly. Because, again, that gives us opportunity. I go around seeing the football. And it gives us an opportunity to engage with the youth and to hear what are their challenges how best to help them, what do they want um, uh, to help, which path should we be concentrating on. And this conversation happening when you're playing football. The other one is a challenge of uh, those uh, engaged in border border uh, business, riding motorcycles and carrying passengers. There are a lot of accidents happening. Most, a lot of them, uh, because of the, maybe the condition of the road, but some of them is because the riders are not competent mm. and then they run into problems with the police and then there is, the insurance cannot be uh, paid mm. because mm -hmm. the, the, the rider did not have a license. So we, need, we, we have such a program where we help them go through proper driving school Training right, yes. and acquire a driving license. Mm -hmm. At the moment, we have 200 of them mm -hmm. who are already engaged, uh, who are in school. Right. And in a few weeks, we'll mm. be having a graduation. And then push more mm. into the driving school mm -hmm. so that they come up with skills. And also, this is a good thing for the community because uh, some of the accidents which are happening because they do not understand the traffic rules, now we expect them to reduce. Okay. And we expect the insurances to pay. Right. Because the people who are uh, doing this business are qualified mm. and have the driving license. Mm. And then finally is the program uh, which involves the uh, Constituency Innovation Hub and the Ajira training, which I would like uh, Yvonne uh, to introduce. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, initially, what happened was the government felt the need to actually um, empower the youth by giving them technical skills or giving them a place where they can be able to um, venture into the online online sphere. So, through the Ministry of ICT. Um, the government partnered up with members of parliament to create what is known as constituency innovation herbs. And the constituency innovation herb is basically a space mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is um, equipped with free Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And um, the government then gives you hardware, mm -hmm. about 13 to 14 laptops. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people, young people can come there and they can use the hardware, they can use the, the free Wi-Fi to kind of help them um, as they go along. However, what happened was, okay, fine, the CIH has been established, the Wi-Fi is there, the hardware is there, but then how do we get the youth to move from wherever they are, whether it's in their houses or it's just sitting by the road or pull even that youth who's busy picking Mogoka. How do I pull this youth to come down to the CIH right. and actually use it? Mm -hmm. And how, in turn, how do I get or put into this youth something else that will help them move away from the vices that they're currently facing at the moment? So the ICT authority, ICTA, then introduced what is called Ajira Digital Training. Now, Ajira Digital Training, um, as many of us would know, is a platform that now, it's a bridge between the people and, and people who are giving work online. So you don't have to go to an office to actually feel like you're working, you can actually work from wherever you are. Okay. So Ajira Digital Training is a one week training. Yes, yes. And um, the youth come to us mm. and we partnered with ICTA. So initially the first cohort we had ICTA trainers who came and it was a TOT program where some of our youth were actually selected and some of them, two of them are actually seated here. And it was to ensure that instead of having um, ICTA, um, ICTA workers coming from Nairobi to Mbera South, they actually now empower the youth in the home ground to continue the program. So the youth come in, um, once, uh, they come every day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Right. They go through, they go through the basic skills that they require from communication skills, soft skills, mm. marketing skills. Mm. Um, they go through the different jobs that are available and the different jobs that are marketable right now mm -hmm. to the European market, to the American market, because you know, like, um, you get what we call virtual assistants. It's basically your virtual assistant. Yes, virtual assistants. Okay. It's I'm an assistant. Uh -huh. Uh, but I'm seated in Kenya. Right. My employer sits in Europe. Ah, okay. Yeah, and that's I assist. Pretty, yes. it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, um, I assist. I assist my employer in his or her work. I see. But I don't need to be physically there. Right. I right. just need to work according to their timelines. Yes. You see, if it's content writing. Um, being a varsity student, you know how many theses or how many projects you have to work on at a particular time. You've got seven units that you're doing in a semester. Mm. You've got seven projects that you need to kind of uh, present, mm. but you don't have this time. You know how, how life is very fast in Europe, in America, and all those other areas. You have to work, you have to go to school. So what do you do with your projects? You disseminate your projects. You look for a worker online. There's always that format that mm. they have to write the projects in. You give that work to somebody in Kenya, that person will type out that project for you, and then you will present it to your lecturer. Your employer will get the grade, but it's actually your work. Right, so and then, and you've got, obviously you're getting some kind of pay out of it. And, of course. And it's work. It's work. So yeah. basically this is an online market where yes. you focus on creating work for the youth yes and i like what you called it the constituency innovation hub i love yes. it because yes. it's all about innovation yes. you've innovated various ways in which um our youth can communicate even if it's with like you said international communities yes, yes. Um, having people do um certain work for them yes. and getting paid for it and i think that's amazing and you've identified it looks like you're really working on technology and ict yes. and um, Moshimuo mentioned football yes so the two things i'm seeing are sports yes and um, ict yes. slash technology yes and i think these are wonderful things and wonderful ways to engage the youth yes um and actually, a good thing is, yes, a lot of people are interested in free Wi-Fi, as, yep. you, as you may say. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And the moment someone knows there's free Wi-Fi somewhere, you know, you're just like, mm, why not, why not? So yes, they'll go and use it and yes. find that, look, I can make some money instead of um, sitting here and, like um, Moshimua said, uh, pinching Mogoka or just wasting time with some friends. Yes. And uh, that's exactly what we want for our youth. Yes. This is a wonderful agenda. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, kindly continue. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so, um, so those are the jobs that are available. The reason why I'm very passionate about this is because mm -hmm. I myself 
was an online worker. Okay. So I know what it takes to actually work mm -hmm. and I know that it pays off. Mm -hmm. All you need to have is consistency. Mm -hmm. You need to be consistent, you need to have good work e ethics and you need to have great relationships with your employers. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that you need is just one job. Mm. You just need that one job. And the moment you secure it, that's it. Jobs just come flying through the window. Right. People are making money from this. And they're making very good money from it. But unless we, we tell our youth there's something else available for you out there. And not only tell them, bring it to the door. Right. Bring it to the door and actually open the door and tell them, look, this is it. Mm -hmm. Then they won't know it. Then you won't be able to engage them. And that's exactly what we are doing. We've mm -hmm. opened the door. We are now showing them this is the way. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to take it. And luckily for us, we've actually been very blessed. The youth of Mary South are eager. The first cohort, we had about 60 youth. And I had to cut down the youth. I had to cut down the numbers. It reached that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like down. an overflow. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, an yeah. overflow. Yeah. It was an overflow. We've got the CS so coming in. So much interest. So much interest, so much eager. I'm telling you, like, my phone was dinging the whole of Sunday. Like, I want to come in on Monday. I want to come in on Monday. Up until about 10, 10 p.m. in the evening. That's how eager they are. I Last see. week, I had a parent who called me out and told me, look, my child wasn't called in the first cohort. I need my son to be in the second cohort. I love it. I actually took the number there and then I called the boy. The boy was there in 30 minutes. That's, that's it. Mm, that's, that's how, how, much, that, they that, that, that's they how much they it. need this. I see. That's how much they actually need yes. it. And, yeah. and, and um, before, before Mushimiwa says something, um, I'd like for Edwin and actually Rachel to touch on the Ajira Digital Kidogo Sana um, to kind of expound on it. I know that Yvonne already touched on it, but because you're here, you're wearing the shirts, I would love for you to give some detail. All right, Edwin, thank you. I start by saying it's. Please keep your. Oh, yes, yes. Um, thank I'm you. grateful to be part of the Ajira team. Uh -huh. And uh, not only. Uh, the skills okay we are equipped with for helping the clients outside uh, the country or between the counties and the counties, what I mean. Uh, the skills can be used to maybe even uh, in the schools, the, the youths who are already in the schools mm -hmm. and uh, the work we present mm -hmm. to our lecturers. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I can say that uh, it's just a, uh, it's, I'll say uh, it's a dirty work because uh, I took one of those skills. Yes, yes. Yes. So I'm grateful and uh, encourage all the youths to join mm. the Mushimba and uh, the government and uh, the When you're saying uh, I took one of those skills, yes, are you asked. saying you were part of? Yes, you know, I was uh, were you a part of part the of process? The first cohort. That's part interesting. Of the, and I was chosen. Wow, that's to, great. That's to great. share the skills uh -huh. which I learned and uh, uh, part of it I learned uh, in the university. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm in Chuka mm -hmm. University. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, I'm grateful to share all the skills. And uh, if I may use uh, this uh, in Kiswahili, mm -hmm. okay, easy skills to na pay watu. Of course. Zina zina saidia pia kupata pesa mm -hmm. na pia ku present kazi yetu mm -hmm. kwa watu wakubwa na kuwapea motivation kwa wenye wako idol kufanya you can market yourself through on social platforms yes yes are giving the wi-fi yes. the initiative yes so me too na ezasema ku encourage all the youth mm -hmm. to join hands with mwishimua yes. mwishimua uh tuli mchagua afanye kazi yake mm -hmm. na hezi kuletea adi chakula kwa mlango kwako so wow no, lovely yeah. Yeah. Eh, yeah now I that mm. i may create this initiative yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. yes Thank you. Asante for that. Yes, Madam CEO, Rachel. Yes, talk about this a little bit, Tafadali. Okay. This is a Jira program thing. Mm -hmm. It has really expanded us. Jira program thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love it. <laughs> it has really expanded us, by the way. Yes, as yes. you said, as Edwin has said, mm -hmm. even at school, just some minutes ago, I think not today, but yesterday. Mm -hmm. Edwin was called by someone to, to help the person to submit the project. Wow. No, because this Azera, we have been taught to grammar check. When you submit your project to the teachers, it becomes perfect until it's like 
how did you manage to do this mm -hmm. when you do it with soft copy? Mm -hmm. How did you manage to do it? Mm -hmm. The grammar check is okay. We learn those things. We learn those skills, and we are able to produce the best. Mm -hmm. And then something else, we are much encouraged by the how these youths are turning up for this thing. It's really encouraging us. We were the first cohort. We were trained. Now we're training. It's encouraging us. Like the second and the third cohort, we're like. I we almost a hundred. Wow. The second That's and the impressive. third. Yes. No, the third is still ongoing. Yes. It will commence tomorrow. Mm. Then we'll be ready for graduation. The youths are really encouraging That's us. The, they really want to do it. Yes. And we also thank the Mushimiwa mm -hmm. for this project, mm -hmm. for the free Wi Fi, the laptops. They, oh, he, he's given us laptops in the CIH. Mm -hmm. So we were able to assess them. So if someone is at home, and may bid for the job, we bid for jobs. Yes. We sing their accounts that we create. Someone at home has bid for the job, but you have a problem with the Wi-Fi, you have a problem, you don't have a laptop, you don't have a smartphone, you just run to the CIH. You get the free Wi-Fi and the free laptop. Mm -hmm. And then you're good to go. You get your money, rather than going down to the Mogoka thing, idling, yeah. Mm. That's a wonderful initiative. Thank you so much. I'd like Mushimwa to say what he wanted to say. And then, and then um, Yvonne, maybe you can touch on Ujanja Mashinani. And then I shall finish off by talking about the Mamba League. I just wanted to say how uh, this has opened floodgates. Yes. One of the things which has happened is that um, the youth came up with their own ideas. Mm. And before the week was over, they were bubbling with ideas. Wow. To the extent that I, I said, look, we have to make this sustainable. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we have done now, we have created what we call the Community Empowerment Center. Mm -hmm. It will be run by a trust. Mm -hmm. It is uh, an independent uh, body, company limited by guarantee. And the guarantors are the, are the trusts. Under the, this, this program, the center which we, we, are, we are building, will now accommodate other initiatives coming from the youth. Amazing. They are proposing huh. that, look, uh, most of the people now have smartphones. Yes. Even people in the rural areas have smartphones. That's true. <laughs> and uh, smartphones have a tendency to die on you. Uh -huh. And in many cases, it's just a question of the software. Mm -hmm. And they say, we know how to do this. We can teach other, uh, each other how to do it. Okay. So in the center, there will be those people who will be uh, doing smartphones, others are repairing computers, others are and they're teaching each other. Yeah, they're teaching each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and these were the these were the students for the first cohort. You, now, you as well. Now we have the, the center director Bravo. and the trainer Bravo. here. Bravo. Uh, the minister only sent only one person to just oversee to just see that we are taking off uh, properly. Yes. And uh, in terms of sustainability, now the trustees are also free now to walk away, look for partners, to partner with them, mm -hmm. and then just push it off. Mm -hmm. They are able now, the center will accommodate more suggestions. Mm -hmm. Those who want to do online work can do it. Those who want to do hardware repairs can do it. Those who want to do mobile phones can do it. Mm -hmm. And then we had a, a, a very interesting entry. There are people who want to record uh, YouTube. <laughs> so we're looking for they want to start their yeah, YouTube, we, channels. Yeah, YouTube channels. <laughs> we wow. were looking for a container so that we can make a studio like this one inside a container. It has to be smaller. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh. But we want to do it inside a container uh. so that our, our youth can come and record whatever it is that mm. they want to And record. post it online and, and post make it some online. money. Yeah. They make, they make, they make some money. Mm. We have one of, the, one of the trainees who came in the first cohort. Mm -hmm. He says he's a comedian. Wow. But he has never had a chance. No he's, platform. He's waiting, he's waiting for the studio so that he can churn out his uh, with, uh, comedies mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the YouTube. Mm. Uh, we have dancers. We have a troupe of dancers in the, in the town. In fact, they get exposed. Right now, they're participating in promoting our, uh, our team in Afghan, in Egypt. They participate in the dances Very and the, nice. the, the, the whatever. Yes. And, and, and all these, and the more are coming. They mm -hmm. want to record, we want to do this. The pastors want to preach and uh, record it. Uh, and we are creating that space. And it's so, so, so exciting. Mm. 
and so so exciting. Mm. And I'm glad that you said uh, Yvonne is going to talk about Richard Machine. Because it's some, one of the first things that sprang up. Yes. And everybody was, wow. Everyone said, wow. Yeah, and we went to see the minister. And, and the minister is... said, what? Mm. Uh, is that yours? Uh, can I have it? He said, no, 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 you cannot have can it. Can I have really? <laughs> can I have it? He said, no, you cannot have it. Mm. This is Better South Youth, and it is an initiative you can plug in and come in to help us. Mm. And, and that is why the minister said, I am coming. Okay. And he's saying, he told the peers, we're going together. Mm -hmm. So this Friday, mm -hmm. at 9 o'clock, the minister is flying in with the peers. Okay. We're going to receive him. Mm -hmm. There were 200 border borders who are undergoing um, uh, training will be there to receive him. Mm -hmm. And... Um, give a motorcade to, to the center mm. and the rest of the youth will be waiting. Amazing, this, amazing. These guys, 100 of them will be having gowns. Wow. Waiting for graduation. Graduate. Uh, we have a and that's always a great <laughs> feeling. <laughs> we even have a professor who is coming to conduct the graduation. Amazing. In style. I love so, it. So it's, so it's so exciting. Yes, yes, yes. That uh, we feel this is a way mm. to go even for the rest of the youth in Kenya. Mm. And we are very, very, very excited about this. And we are hoping that it's actually going to spread from um, Bear South into Absolutely. the whole of Nairobi. Absolutely, they have no choice. Unfortunately, yeah. we yeah. don't have too much very time, but I just want you to say maybe rather quickly about Ujanja Mashinani. Okay. Um, Ujanja Mashinani is um, bringing, it's, it's, it's a name that's coined, it basically is bringing wit at a rural... I like the name too. Yeah. <laughs> it's very clever. Yeah, it's very clever. <laughs> it's, it's just bringing wit um, to the rural kind of level. Mm -hmm. So during mm -hmm. the training we identified that there were two gaps. One gap is that we could not bring people on board who didn't have basic computer skills. Mm -hmm. So we've got two parts of Ujanja Mashinani. We've got Ujanja Basics, mm -hmm. which is now pulling the youth, mm -hmm. the women, the, the elderly men, um, and teach them, and teach them the basic computer training so that we can then absorb them into the Ajira Digital. Mm. Then we've got Ujanja Mashinani, which is basically using the technical skills that we have and disseminating these technical skills to the, to the youth, to the women, to the men in the sphere in which they're currently working in. So if it's- The rural areas. In the rural areas. What we're trying to do is we're trying to dis dissociate that you have to come to the urban area to actually succeed. Very nice. You can actually succeed when you're in the rural area. Yes. If I'm a farmer, I'm a pig farmer, um, how do I use technology to advance my farming? If I'm a dancer, for instance, how do I use technology like YouTube to advance my, 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 my skills and my talents? So that's basically what it is. Um, and we are really looking forward to it. it Ujanja Mashinani will also be launched on Friday. Mm. So um, this will be a big part of the youth agenda. I see. And I shall talk a little bit uh, very quickly about the Mamba League. And Moshimura can say his last and final parting words very, very shortly because we are out of time apparently. And we need to give space to our next interview. And so the Mamba League, as I'm told, is actually running from the 18th of May all the way until the 17th of August. And it's going to be a wonderful football um, is it a football match? Yes. That's, it's a tournament, yes. My football tournament where people are actually going to be winning prices. And these prices are amazing because who doesn't like money? <laughs> we have the first one. We have the first one going for 50000 uh, for that's for the top winner and the runner-up gets 25,000 this runner-up team and the third team gets 10,000 and then 5,000 for the four other teams which will come in next after that and I think these are great great initiatives and great ways to get people from doing nothing to kind of join sports and like he said that was his first thing was football so the sports and the technology they have found a way to um put them together so that they can help the youth. And this is exactly what um, Mamba League is all about. And we are hoping that this will be a success. Now, Moshimiwa, um, we don't have much time, but I want to say maybe your parting words to the youth. Uh, my parting words is simple. There is hope for the youth in Kenya. Uh, those who don't have jobs, yeah. they are all, you have ideas. You don't have a job, you have ideas. Yes. We can talk about your idea we can bring in people who are in that sector and find out how your ideas can make money. 
Mm. And this is what we are doing at the center. Mm. So my word is there is hope mm. for the youth in Kenya. There is hope for the youth in Kenya. Those are honorable Jeff Kingangi's last words on this wonderful, wonderful show. And he has come here to talk and push his youth agenda. Remember that you can join and help out. Is there any way, by the way, that let's say that someone is um, not from Barry South, but they're interested in coming there to do these things. Is there any way that they can do yes, so? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there's, uh, there's opportunity for the whole of Kenya to plug in. Okay. This is how you plug in. Okay. Uh, the young people that we have trained, we are graduating 100. One of the ways to use them is to invite you to that, invite them to your place to come and teach your youth. Mm -hmm. And they are, they are quite, well, they are quite skilled. Mm -hmm. And we just pass fair, they will come and, 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 and train. Mm -hmm. And so we are looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. The other thing is you can bring in your trainers. Mm -hmm. We train them. Wow. And then take them out. And then also, you can come and learn from us oh. uh, how the sustainability model that we have created, we can come and discuss and see how you can plug in. Mm. So yes, we, the whole of Kenya, actually we want to infect the whole of Kenya with in this uh, <laughs> we want to yes. the whole of Kenya uh. with this hope for the youth, mm. that there is hope for the youth mm. because uh, they may not have a job, but they have ideas mm. and they have a fresh mind mm -hmm. which has not been used. Mm. Uh, we can use it to create jobs for mm -hmm. them either online or just marketing or just selling the skills that they have. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that was Honorable Jeff Kingangi. And uh, nobody likes infections. Nobody wants to catch them. But we do hope that everybody does catch this infection and it becomes an <laughs> epidemic. <laughs> we hope it becomes an epidemic in our country yes. so that um, everyone can get some positive help. But this is a positive epidemic we're talking about here. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have enjoyed you watching us. Our social media handles are down there on the screen. And remember, my name is Joy Mochache. Find me on Joy underscore Mochache. Thank you. Come in up next is Barry Moses with another Tuesday Entrepreneurship Show. This has been Wine in the Morning.